Hey guys, and welcome back. Today we're playing Clang 2. This is a psychedelic rhythm action game. Uh, the sequel to Clang, which came out in 2015 or 2016, I think. I have not played Clang, the original, and I honestly don't play a lot of rhythm games, but I do love good music, and I do love the idea of rhythm games. I just don't have a lot of time to commit to perfecting them. And I'm gonna tell you right up front, this game is really, really addicting. <laughs> there is a story mode, which follows our main protagonist, which you see on the screen dancing around now. But to unlock further iterations of the story or further chapters and bosses, you have to achieve higher tiers in the arcade mode, which is where you practice any of the 24 different tracks. Well, you have to unlock them in progressing order. So up until the first boss, you only have the first three tracks. Then after that, you get up to seven. And that's where I stopped. But there are a total of 24 tracks to be conquered here. And there's also the regular mode. And then there's a fast mode that you unlock once you've reached S tier in the regular song mode. So there's a fast mode for each and every Every song and this is where things get really crazy. You might watch some of this early footage and think, oh, this just looks kind of slow and mediocre. The music's good. Uh, made by Blind and Octographic Music, City Girl, James Landino, a bunch of people contributed to this, but Blind is the majority here. But stick around because I included my footage from the fast mode of track eight, which is absolutely insane. The first time I saw it, I was just like shaking my head at how I was supposed to do it. But with a lot of practice and like Two hours of playing the same song I finally reached almost 97% completion so stick around for that but let's get right into Clang 2. It is releasing on October 20th for PC and all consoles although I haven't seen it listed in the eShop yet so Nintendo Switch might be a bit delayed but yeah let's get to the game. I have my headphones on the music sounds banging already. Story on. Did they blind you? Let's see, this feels like the opening cinematics at like an EDM concert, especially with the bright lights. Burn them all. All in clang, except my eyes. Ooh, got some Sasuke eyes. Oh yeah. They just said, show me your mastery of rhythm. Wield the tune blade like a true clang. So far I'm not doing anything. This is all just opening animation. I'm just watching. Enjoying the build up. Click to put on a great show. Hey, let's friggin' do it. Okay, so the pink ones, you just have to click in them. Green and orange, you gotta swipe. What do we got for blue? And it automatically ends the blue ones. I don't have to time the ending, just the beginning. Feeling this music though. I am playing keyboard and mouse, but you can play controller as well. I'm not sure. How the controls would look for that. I just prefer the precision of a mouse. Found me? Who is this? I love the look of our character too. Great coloring. We look like some cyberpunk music head. Oh shoot. I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at my guy.
Are we being attacked? I was too late on that one. Oh, I'm doing so bad. My mouse is like lagging. I think it's my mouse pad. Yeah, likely story, right? No, it is. It has a pattern on it. Freaking coarse air mouse mat or desk mat. Why would you put a pattern on that? Can't be silenced. We'll make you atone. What went wrong? It was my mouse pad. Blade's acting up. Uh oh. Also, if you're sensitive to bright lights, probably best to stay away from this game if you can't already tell. Countered ghosts again, didn't you? Yes, they still confuse me for Sonus. Royal Toon Blade truly is cursed. I'll confiscate it for now. No, don't. How are we going to defend ourselves? Oh, well, I've, that's, yeah, my thoughts exactly. A virtual training arena. Hone your skills there until I come back for you. Info. Oh. 51 combo. Not bad for our first time. I'll take it. Two types of missions, okay. Missions are unlocked by earning tokens. You need seven in total to unlock the next story mission. Tokens are earned based on your rank. We're only going for S. No, just kidding. We're going to try and progress the story as quickly as possible. Ooh, we get to choose a song. I'm not feeling that one. That one's kind of cool. I feel like this one's going to have a sick drop in it somewhere. Let's do this one. Right. Hold up. The keyboard can also be used. Dash. Hmm. I wonder how much like leeway it gives you for pressing two keys at once for like diagonals. I'll probably just stick with clicking. Click to clang. Okay, so I did do some of the dashes with my keyboard that time. It just felt kind of right in the moment. I missed it that time. I like the little animations we do, like swinging the sword around there.
Ooh, and then we've changed colors too. Maybe just depending on what action we're taking. Or what part of the song we're in. Yeah, the, the graphics and art like gradually changing throughout the song are super pleasing. Plus, I really like that song. That was a nice one. Oh, barely right on the nose. We got S tier. I'll take it. Uh, that was all we needed to progress the story, right? It was just four more. It's finally a lead on the curse. Researched ancient texts on tune blades. The blade might be starved for spiritual energy. Satiate its hunger, and the ghosts will disappear. I found the perfect target, an evil spirit. Use the blade, destroy it, and consume its energy. Go to the mission room when you're ready. We are ready. I'm ready! New tracks unlocked. Fenrir. Isn't that like some Norse Norse god or a, a Norse dog? Next boss is ready. This world is so trippy. Uh, obviously, aside from the music, which is like the biggest... I will say the biggest selling point of the game. It's definitely a huge selling point of the game is like this kind of EDM or house track mix. I'm fighting floating hands. Uh, but the art that like coincides with it, which a rhythm game should. It's just, just gorgeous. These are moving a little faster. Oh, I'm like distracted. I guess that one I have to double tap. I wasn't understanding that at all. That one. Get him, boy!
This battle feels really satisfying to like hit these moves right as we're about to get hit with lasers. Let's go! Uh-oh. It's haunted? What's happening? We're, like, exercising a ghost from it. We're burning up. I can't control it! What is this place? Oh, oh my days. I'll always be here, Samus. Reminder of your failure. Did it save anyone? Or could you kill the eye? I'll show you. So after each battle, we kind of, I guess we kind of get like this story time in in, I don't know what we're in. A time time warp? A wormhole? Did you encounter a ghost? No, only saw the target. Liar. Come see me when you return. What is... This isn't the training area, is it? Dang, you copy. Where the heck am I? This facility contains a small database. Search it for clues on how to beat Sonus. Where you dug up intel on the ghosts? Wrecked. Wrecked a mundo. Haven't seen more of them, right? No. <laughs> See, it's working. I made a small encyclopedia from the best info. You may check it out at any time. However, first I'd like to ask you something. Got time for a chat? Uh, whatever. Even when we're not actively playing the game, like when we're just in the story part, there's still this nice ambient music in the background. Kind of like ambient lo-fi, actually. No, I guess it's like techno ambient. How are you holding up? Well, nice of you to ask. Love how you finish that fight. Hmm? Imprisoning your enemy into the blade. As if consuming its soul. Oh, that's what we did. This person, or this being is named AI, E-Y-E. Then -E. like artificial intelligence, but an all-seeing eye. Kinda cheeky, kinda cool. Wish I didn't remember that actually. Oh really now, why are you doing it then? Just because I tell you to? Bad blade behaves itself. Wink. Good enough reason for me. So is Saunas gonna be like the final boss? I'm still I'm not very clear on who Saunas is. Nah. We've had enough. So there's this nice little encyclopedia that gives you some lore into the world. We look at headphones, it's actually kind of funny how they describe them. An accessory enhancing a clang's ability to focus on the beat, also my ability. Cancels all unnecessary noise, leaving only music. Achieving euphoria is nigh impossible without them. Easier for us to enter our flow state. Soundlord Sonus. Oh, we were just wondering who that was. Demigod and ruler of the land. De definitely the final boss. That dude looks angry.
Check out this video on the left for another one of my favorite games this year, or watch the playlist on the right for 10 great indie games from every month. See you on the other side.